in uncertain times, I think it's important to look for the positives. Hello again and welcome back to another episode of Wisconsin's Outdoor Explorer. You know, I debated writing or talking about the coronavirus and whether or not I should even address it. I, like most of you, am pretty much tired of hearing about it every day and hearing about the doom and gloom of it every day and hearing about the things that we are losing every day, places we can't go, events being canceled. It can be depressing. And honestly, what more could I add to the already oversaturated conversation? I focus on getting outdoors and being outdoors, and luckily that is the one thing that we're still able to do. We're still able to get outside and enjoy the parks that are open, enjoy doing things that we like outdoors, whether it be gardening or just enjoying the birds or whatever it is. We can still get outdoors on these nice spring days and do that. And even when we do go to parks, I know we still have to be conscious of social distancing and washing hands and wearing masks and things like that. But there's a certain relief and freedom when you do step outside during these times that you can kind of be normal for a while if if that's what you want to call it. But the one thing I have noticed is we seem to constantly focus on the negative that has come with this virus. And honestly, that part of the conversation, I really don't want to take part of. I, I I don't want to add to it. And I just don't want to be a part of that negative conversation of, Oh, this is closing that we can't do this. And, and all that. I, I don't want any part of it. What I want to focus on today are the positives that have come out of this pandemic. I love being outdoors and sharing my love of outdoors is important to me. And I want others to enjoy being outside as much as I do. I mean, I can't tell you how much I enjoy being able to go out and just hanging laundry on the line and listening to the birds while I'm doing that. I just enjoy it so much just to be outside, whatever I can do to be outside. One of the positive things that I've noticed is how many more people are getting outside. And to me, this is a great thing. Our lives are so busy that I think we forgot to make time to get outdoors and enjoy it. Now, I know people have things like sports that they like to go do and they, their kids are in activities that, that you go sit and watch. But, you know, you're so busy about where you need to be next and how you're going to get there. And you just forget to slow down a little bit and just enjoy being outside. Even going for a walk or visiting a state park, you know, it needed to be planned out amongst our busy schedules. And I think during this time, we can be a little bit more spontaneous and not worry about having to rush here or there because of our busy schedule. We can enjoy that time getting outdoors and it makes getting outdoors so much more enjoyable. I mean, think about it. When you go someplace or go for a walk and you feel You've got to rush to get back because you got to go do something else or you got this to go on. It kind of takes away some of that enjoyment. And being able to take that time and be a little bit more spontaneous has really been kind of refreshing in a way. And I also think because of this pandemic, we've all been a little bit more conscious about how important our parks and trails are to us. I think we we understand why we need these and why we need to care for them. And I keep reading how more people want to get involved in caring and volunteering to keep up their area outdoor spaces. Uh, I saw a Facebook post the other day that somebody was looking for suggestions for, for their family to go and clean up some County parks. They had cleaned up three or four County parks and they wanted to do more. And That's something that I don't think would happen if we didn't have this pandemic going on right now. So there are positive things coming out of this and, and there are positive things in the outdoors coming out of this. We're, we're getting more people who appreciate what we have and are willing to take care of that. And that occurred because we've all had to just slow down a little bit and focus a little bit more on ourselves and our families 
and being around and, and seeing what's available for us to do. And I think because of that, we've all been able to just focus a little bit more on our surroundings and we care about it a little bit more. We realize how important those surroundings are to us. And I think that's been a great, great thing, great positive that has come out of this right now is that more people are getting outdoors. More people are seeing how wonderful these places are and are more willing to care for those wonderful places. Now, the one thing that I've really enjoyed about being under a safe at home order is the time I've been able to spend with my family. You know, when the weather cooperates, we are outside enjoying the transition from winter to spring. And I think that's the key right now is as much as we all want to get out and do our own things, what better time of year could you think for this to happen? We go from that winter to spring and the minute it hits 50 or 60 degrees we all want to be outside and that's the best place for us to be to be outside and enjoying our yards and planting those gardens and doing all that and it's just such a wonderful thing that I've seen with my family we we are out playing together we're doing yard work together we're learning about plants together and we're going for walks together it's been a great time for our family to slow down and kind of get to know each other again. You know, we all get so busy with school and we get so busy with their sports and what other activities that we have going on that I think sometimes we miss those times where we can just sit and learn about who each other are. And this has been so great for like our family. Um, for instance, the other day it was it was 60 degrees out and we were outside all day. We played, we did some work. It was like the perfect day where we didn't have to worry about, okay, we gotta, we can do this for a little bit, but then we gotta rush here and go here and do this. We all just kind of spent the day outside and just enjoyed it. We did what we wanted to do and there was no feeling that we had to rush to get back in. And my daughters, they're, they're all at that elementary age, so they're growing and changing constantly. So it's really been kind of great for my wife and I to see them grow in just these past few weeks. And and I'm not talking about just schoolwork. It's just the way they've interacted with each other and, and handled this situation. It's been so much fun for us to get them out and get them excited about being outside. Like, for instance, my youngest daughter, she learned to ride a bike already this summer. We We keep nudging her to ride a bike, and we tried last year, and it didn't work. And now that we've had more time to spend at home, she's learned to ride a bike, and we are all so happy and excited for her and and she's excited about riding a bike and learning a bike and we've talked about taking some long bike trips this summer that we couldn't before because she was still in the training wheels she was still on that small bike and it just just would have made things difficult so that's one of those things that we've been able to experience as a family because of this pandemic where honestly I don't think she probably would still learn still know how to ride a bike if this wouldn't have happened. This time has been great for our family and it's given us a chance, like I said, to know more about each other and it's given a chance for my wife and I to be with our daughters during some really important times in their life. But perhaps the biggest benefit I think I've got from this ordeal has been time. This pandemic has taught me to slow down a little bit and enjoy the time that we've been given. It's really nice to be so close with my family in the last month and a half. And it's been so nice to get out and enjoy the early spring weather, like I said, without having to rush to go here or there. Now, don't get me wrong. I really miss seeing my parents, my in-laws, my sisters, and, and just hanging out with friends. It, I miss not being able to watch my daughters play softball. That, that's always been a, a fun thing for me to do. But honestly, it has been refreshing and I think it will make some of us rethink how our families do things. I hope that we can slow down a little bit when things do get back to normal and still appreciate the outdoors for what it is. I, I really appreciated the time that we've been given here to reconnect as a family, to reconnect with the outdoors. We've been able to spend more time outdoors. And like one of the things that we've really connected with is taking evening walks 
Um, we, we've enjoyed that with a, with our family. And again, I don't know if that would happen in some of these busier times. It, if, if we were running around for school and doing this or that, we probably wouldn't be taking these family walks and seeing how our kids interact with each other. And it's been one of those things where I've tried to always look at a positive in negative situations. And I think that's the one thing that I've noticed is it's kind of brought our family closer together. I hope it's been bringing your family closer together. Now, don't get me wrong. We're doing the homeschooling thing and that can be a little bit stressful, but we make it through that. And once we're done with that, we enjoy family time together. During this time, we can be filled with negative story after negative story. This group fights with this group about when to, re- when to reopen or what the next step should be. I'm telling you right now, don't worry about things you can't control. Enjoy the things you can control. You can control how you react to all of this. You can control how you spend your time. Spring is here. Get out and enjoy this time with your spouse, with your kids. Take your pets for more walks than they want. Feel the sunshine on your face and take advantage of this time you've been given as you head out to be one of Wisconsin's Outdoor Explorers. Thanks again for joining me. Remember to be safe, to take care of yourself, to take care of each other. That's the only way we're going to get through this. And I promise this is going to be my only podcast about this. I'm wanting to get back to my regular type of podcast, but I felt I needed to address this a little bit because I think we hear so much negativity about this. And I really wanted to add a little positive spin to hopefully make you realize there are some good things that have come out of this and some good things that have come to my family from this. And I think that's the way we need to be. We need to be that on that positive side of things. We need to appreciate the time we're given and enjoy this time. Enjoy this time that you get to spend with your kids and watch your kids grow or or enjoy this time with your spouse or loved one that that you can just be together and really not have to worry about all the little things that we used to worry about. So one more thing before I go, if you enjoy this podcast, do me a favor and share this podcast with a friend. Tell one person about this podcast and get them listening. You can listen wherever you listen to your favorite podcasts and let's spread the word. Let's all try to be one of Wisconsin's Outdoor Explorers together. You can join the Facebook group follow along on our page. I post a lot of pictures and stuff on there. So if you enjoy that kind of stuff, but if you want to join the discussion, definitely check out the Facebook group. We're growing and talking about more places to go and things to do around the state of Wisconsin. So again, thanks for joining me. I'm your host, Jason, and I'll talk to you again next week. Thanks for listening to the Wisconsin's Outdoor Explorer podcast. For more great information about being an outdoor explorer, visit our website at wisconsinsoutdoorexplorer.com. Be sure to check out the blog page and follow us on social media. And don't forget to subscribe to this podcast wherever you listen to your favorite podcasts.